Hello, hello, hello Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. I am Jackson Knowledge Goddess. Today I'll be doing your monthly reading for the month of February. Please keep in mind that these are general messages so everything may not apply to you or your situation. Please like, subscribe, and share with a friend who may need this message. Without further ado, let's begin. Alright. So, messages for Aquarius. Whoa. Okay, so I'm not going to take these, but um, you have the Uranus energy. It says your potential for sudden change, enlightenment, and awakening. Okay, so something is going to be um, abruptly happening. Okay, that you need to prepare for. Okay. One more, please. Aquarius, February 2021. Okay. So we have the Scorpio energy. I don't know if you can see that. It looks like a whole eye right there. It's crazy. Okay. It says this energy is intense, masterful, thoughtful, and magnetically charming, but also secretive and possessive. Okay, so um, it seems like this is something that you may be having to guard. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, but um, I feel like you may have suspected that something um, was going to be happening, and it's just kind of been under wraps, okay? Um... And also, I got the song, the new song, Best Friend by uh, Sweetie and Doja Cat. So, maybe something going on with a friend as well. Um, but definitely something happening abruptly or something that you're coming out with that you've been keeping under wraps. And for the um, supporting energy, you have the Venus card, which is about, you know, love, beauty, success, indulgence, um, you know, worth valuable things okay so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to break down let's see what each week is going to be bringing for aquarius to the first week of february 2021 for the sign of aquarius please okay all right so you have social media okay so something's going to be going on on social media or um, there's something that you've been wanting to put out to social media, okay? For the first week, and we have firm foundation. So something that you've been building on, okay? You've been trying to build up yourself on social media or um, something like that, or you've been watching something on, on social media, or you could be um, investing as well. Okay. So then we have the heart chakra. Okay. So th th maybe this is something that you truly love to do. Um, and you're trying to get your foot in the door. Okay. And for the supporting energy, you have yin and yang. So really come into, you know, um, getting your feet wet. Okay. So I heard getting your feet wet. All right. That was loud. Okay. This is going to be something else for the first week of February 2021 for Aquarius. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. So, <clears throat> yeah, I feel like y'all are coming uh, coming out with something or like some type of project or something like that um, that's going to be helping you in the long run. Okay. Slow and steady wins the race. So, you know, take your time, be strategic, um, but also be action-packed as well. <clears throat> okay. More for the first week, please, for Aquarius. More for the first week for Aquarius. Okay. So, yep, I told y'all. So you have the fool, okay, which means new beginnings, taking the leap, just taking the plunge and going ahead and doing it and putting it out there, okay? Something that's going to 
be um, providing a lot of independence. Okay, you have justice. Okay, so things are going to be balancing out perfectly. Okay, what else? What else? What else for Aquarius? For the first week of February 2021. Okay, too many cards. He has strength. So it's like you're finally coming out with this with this courage. You have a lot of major archons. So this is going to be a big week for y'all. Um, especially if you're doing social media. Yep. You have the Hermit and the Will of Fortune. Um, I feel like whatever this is, is going to be very great for you. This is something that you really love to do. Um, and you're finally putting yourself out there. Okay. Or uh, coming out in another big way. Okay. So let's get some clarifications. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. You got the Queen of Cups. Something, something that you're very passionate about. Something you love to do. Okay. Something that's gonna help you stand in your own power. And you know that this is your this is your niche. This is your thing. Okay. What's the full card? <clears throat> What's the full card? You could be dealing with a um, a Cancer, a Leo, a Libra, or an Aries as well, or an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, what's the full card? Yeah, because this is something that you've been wanting to do. Something that something I feel like this is your purpose, your soul calling. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh. Well, that didn't work out for y'all, huh? <laughs> but, <clears throat> but yeah, definitely something that you have been, um, or mostly like, most likely that the universe has been wanting you to do. And I feel like you're, you're finally putting yourself out there. It's like, what do I have to lose, right? Because you've been doing all these other things and they haven't been working out. And you're finally going the route that's going to be beneficial for you okay what's this justice card yep because you're, you're you're seeking justice for your own situation i feel like this is something that you have been doing that um has kind of been in the works but you've been needing another way to go about it and you're, you finally found your way and you're going towards it just like these okay which is going to be balancing your situation Okay, what's the strength card for Aquarius? I'm finally having the courage. Okay, what's the strength card, please, for Aquarius for the first week of February 2021? Yep, see, look, you got the full card again. And with the Page of Cups. This is something that your intuition has been telling you to do anyway. Okay. So, yep. Um, also, y'all are going to be getting some kind of news I'm seeing here. Some kind of news. Okay. Let's see. Let's get an extra. What's this news? All right. Renewal. Yeah, exactly. Remember, I told y'all, I feel like this is something that y'all have been doing, um, but you finally found a way to do it, like to make um, money from it, okay? Let's just renewal. Ooh. Yeah, because at first you weren't really, um, things weren't going how you wanted them to go. Some of you may even have had like creator's block or writer's block or something like that okay anything else for the first week before we move forward okay they said no oh we have divine love at the bottom so i feel like that's an energy going into the next week so let's go ahead and get into the second week okay Okay. Let's 
get into the second week of February for Aquarius. I see intimacy. Okay. And the second week is what, Valentine's Day too? You know, if you celebrate that, but you know, the day of love. Okay, yep, look. We have risk assessment and relationship goals. Okay, two wanted to come out. Supporting energy. Okay. Second week of February 2021 for Aquarius, please. You have appreciation. So I feel like this is appreciation for um, how far you've came. You have strategy at the bottom. Okay. So, what is it? What does Aquarius need to be aware of for the second week of February 2021? Okay, so you got the Seven of Wands. Okay, what do they need to be aware of for the second week of February 2021? I feel like you're kind of in your head this next week about money, okay? I feel like you're, you may be a little, um, I don't want to use the word rowdy, but I feel like you're, you're on edge, okay? okay. What's this one, please? I feel like um, you regret not using your intuition earlier on because you could have been further along, okay? But I feel like you needed to go through some things. You need to go through some type of transformation. Um, yeah, exactly. You need to go through something first before you got there. Um, I feel like you're, you're recognizing, you know, your worth. Um, I feel like you're gaining more of your independence and this is why you're so on edge because you're putting everything on the line. Okay. Exactly. Because you, like I said, you could have been so much further along. Okay. Even if this is with a relationship. Okay. That's the King of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Wow. The King of Pentacles um, is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. So, um, I feel like this second week is about love. I feel like um, somebody may be... Somebody may be coming towards you. Oh, and the King of Pentacles came out again. Yeah, the King of Pentacles came out again. Clarifying the Seven of Swords. I feel like... <clears throat> there is... If it's not you, I don't even feel like this is your energy. But um, somebody is going to be coming towards you. It could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. I feel that while you're basking in your independence, um, you know, not expecting anything from anyone, especially if you're single, um, I feel like someone comes to you with an opportunity of love or some they're like it's ex expressing their love um more than especially more than they have before i feel like this is going to be very 
unexpected. Like, I didn't know that you felt this way. I feel like someone is learning to appreciate your presence more. Okay. Yeah. I feel like someone someone's appreciating your presence a lot more. This may be like a friend or like I said, this is someone who you have hidden emotions and estrangement. So I feel like, you know, y'all, y'all kind of um, wasn't necessarily on the best of speaking terms because things didn't go how you thought it should go. So, you know, you claimed your independence again um, and started, you know, working more on yourself. And then this person, they come um and they're wanting to build with you yeah you have testing the waters yeah exactly they're wanting to go further with you positive mindset okay one more for the second week but definitely yeah you have multiple choices um I feel like you may be invited out as well, like for a drink or something like that. Um, or you may be invited to someone's home. Um, I feel like someone is also going to be watching you as well. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, definitely someone is going to be expressing how they feel towards you and... It really surprises you. Like somebody really comes out with like how they truly feel. Okay. But abundance wise, uh, money wise, um, I feel like you're going to be okay. Yeah, money wise, I feel like you're going to be fine. Um, for sure. Okay. So, I feel like there may be some unexpected money coming in as well. All right, third week for Aquarius. Third week of February for Aquarius. What's the energy? To me, what's the third week looking like for Aquarius? I feel like the, the other person is like somebody who matches your energy. Okay. So you have low tide magnetic pool. Under that you have uh, masculine energy confidence. Okay. Alright. All right. Third week of February for Aquarius. door to spirit number 32 which is about uh, change and transformation okay so I feel like that, that has to do with like some type of uh, spiritual ascension like you're going through another um, ascension okay so it's going to be very important for you to ground yourself if you don't know what that means it's just you know get, getting back to your natural state getting back to who you are um, owning your power and um, you know being more down to earth okay all right so you know or we'll do your research third week for Aquarius please third week of February for Aquarius please okay so it looks like you may be working with someone you have the two of Pentacles as well um juggling two two actions juggling two two things okay should i do this 
or that. So it seems like decision time again. Okay. What else? For Aquarius. What else for Aquarius? Third week. Okay, so you have judgment. Uh-huh, exactly. A decision. What else? Will of Fortune. Yes. Something's going to be coming in. Okay, and it was fate. It was meant for it to be coming in. You have... Yeah, you have the Ace of Cups, Strength, and Death. Ten of Cups at the bottom. So, <clears throat> there's some major things coming in. I feel like um, doors are finally opening for you. Okay? Doors are opening for you. Uh, in this third week, literally. And it's because the universe is sending you that. You know, whoever or whatever you believe in, they're sending you this because it's time. Okay? They finally made the judgment. It's time for you to step up and do what you love. It's time for you to step up and, and live your purpose and your soul's calling. Okay, so what's this Two of Pentacles? Okay. And it's something you can't get away from. Yeah. It's something you can't get away from. And you're going to have to put in the work and the, the, the dedication, the time, have the determination and motivation and use your, use your um, discernment, okay? This is a death card. There's a big transformation coming in this uh, third week here. Time for something to change. Yep, exactly. Time to make a decision. Okay, let's go back around. This is two of pentacles. This is two of pentacles. I don't know, it's like your fears are stopping you from moving forward. This is as a person can be pentacles. But whatever this is. It's like don't don't lose determination. Keep going. It's like they you finally they finally have you where they want you, where they need you to be. Your spirit team is rooting for you. This is two pentacles. They're giving you options. It's time for you to start planning better. Be more disciplined um, so that you can get ready for the stability that's coming in. Because it's like you're, you're coming into your own. This is I feel like you may be tested in this third week. Test it to see if you can, if you have the strength to keep moving forward. Wow, death clarified by death. There's something huge coming in, a big transformation. And you have Scorpio here as well, so you could definitely be dealing with a Scorpio, but... Something big is happening here. I'm missing something. Okay. So what's going to be going on? What's this death card here? What is this big transformation? It's like a big decision that is um, inevitable. Like this change that is inevitable. Please clarify this. Death card. Trust your vibes. So you're going to be using your discernment for sure. Needing to use your discernment. I feel like you're going to be getting your just due in this third week.
okay so some of you are going to be um like getting a makeover or <clears throat> doing some kind of new beauty regimen or um, workout or something like that but y'all are looking real good on this third week are you fancy huh are you fancy huh are you fancy huh some of y'all may be going to a new place um going to like some type of party or get together um and you're, you're needing to get fly okay but something big is going to be happening in this this third week here <clears throat> it's going to be very important for you to use your intuition in this third week be on alert okay be mindful and aware It's like the universe is going to be like putting something right in your lap. Like it's yours for the taking. Some of you could be uh, moving homes or relocating. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Some people don't like that. Oh well. <clears throat> so there's going to be something big coming up in this third week for you Aquarius um, like I said be using your discernment be aware have your intuition on point and, and don't fall into those negative ways again those negative thought patterns because it's something that you want that is coming in but it's going to require a lot of time and effort um, and work Okay, but it's just going to be worth it. Okay. Let's get into the fourth week. <clears throat> See where we at. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. We're at 27. So we're going to get up out of here. Alright, let's make this one quick. What is Aquarius going to be going through in the, in the last week of February? What can they look out for? What can they expect? What's the most important message is? Okay. So this is two. two. Look out. Divine love came out again. I was wondering if it was going to come out by itself. Okay, then you have positive mindset at the bottom. Okay. Well, we have supporting this divine love energy. Okay, crown chakra. Okay, so purple is going to be prominent for you in this last um, week. Okay, your intuition, your crown chakra, your third eye. It's going to be popping on this last week. Okay. So what else? Okay. So we have temperance. So what else do we have for the fourth week of February? Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Okay. This last week. Okay. You have the Empress. So you could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. I was just thinking about that, but I was going to say it, but it came out anyway. Some of you are um, having a new diet as well. Okay, what else do we have for the fourth week for Aquarius? Aquarius, fourth week of February. I just heard Battle of the Sexes. Okay, so I don't know what that means for you. Okay, what else for Aquarius in the fourth week? Of February. I don't even know if it's a fourth week, but we're getting into it. It's, we'll just say the last week. Y'all don't mind me. Don't judge me. But a month is four weeks to me. 
Okay. So. <clears throat> so it looks like you're finding balance. Um, I feel like some of you are going to be learning that, you know, there, there needs to be balance between, um, work and play or, you know, work and dating or, um, something like that. Okay. Let's clarify this temporal spot. Could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Cancer. Somebody is dealing with a cancer has a chariot card going for what you want. Um, that's the seven of pentacles that just fell. Something may be coming to light that um, you did not know about. Okay. But it helps you move forward. It may not be all good news either. <clears throat> but it's something that you may be waiting on in order to move forward. Yeah. You got the Empress. Again. Some of you come to a realization about something. It's like you're having an epiphany. You know, you're moving along, you're moving forward. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. You're moving along, you're moving forward. Okay, then all of a sudden, something happens that kind of shakes up your world. Let's see, what else is this? Fourth week for Aquarius. Okay, so it's going to be something that something or someone that you're going to have to leave behind. Or that you're going to be leaving behind in order to move forward. I don't even know what that is to feel. Okay, give me another message because I can't reach it. <laughs> Queen of Swords. There may be some type of communication that surprises you on the fourth week. Um, you may also be finding out that a cancer is pregnant or. Um, This is going to be like shocking news. Okay. Or you could be finding out that you're pregnant or um, your partner. But overall, going to going towards something new. Um, going towards something fruitful. Okay. What's this? The Eight of Pentacles, but this this month is really gonna be about a lot of work for y'all. This is Eight of Cups. All right, let's get this. What are we at? Thirty-four. All right, we're gonna be over. This is Eight of Cups here for Aquarius. Yeah, you're you're contemplating on making a decision with moving forward without someone.
there may be some type of conversation that you've been waiting on. All right, this is three of cups. But it seems like it's gonna be okay. Some of you could be getting a new car. You got the Queen of Swords. Yeah, it's gonna be some type of communication is going to be important in this fourth week. And it's gonna kind of put you in a bind, especially if this has to do with love. Um, yeah, it's gonna be like quick, swift, like unexpected. Okay, but it's like somebody coming in to balance the situation. Um, Conditions. All right, after this, we're going to be getting into your advice for the month of February. You know what? I need to pull from the juicy jar. For this one, because this is divine love. So let's see what's going on. So it says, stop interrupting my grinding. Okay, so somebody may be interrupting you while you're working or calling while you're at work. You may be getting a message while you're at work. Okay, you have toxic as fuck. Not interested. Next. Oh, goodness. Okay. Freckles, beauty marks. Okay, so this person could have freckles or uh, beauty marks. This person could have brown eyes. Okay. You're a queen in my eyes. Okay, so somebody who's really looking at you like you know you got what they need. What you say? You just the friend. Okay, so we got player. <clears throat> so I feel like there's two different energies coming in. One is an energy that you don't necessarily like or want, and the other one is more of a serious energy with you, okay? Um, coming in with some type of serious offer or something like that, okay? You have natural beauty, so but, uh, they both love your natural beauty, okay? And look at this. Okay, so we have corporate. So you or this other person could work in you know, the corporate of the USA okay so let's go ahead and get y'all's advice cards all right so you have your own path it says trailblazing brings the greatest achievement heart and mind aligned unconventionality and authenticity so again getting into your your purpose okay I feel like you're gonna be meeting someone or getting more in tune with someone. I feel like you're going to be leaving someone behind. And you're also going to be meeting your match. Um, towards the end of February. Okay. Someone who has the same mental capacity as you. If not better. Um, you compliment each other. You know. On the logic level. Okay. Um, the mind. Sapiosexual energy. Okay, so we have mindfulness. It says awareness of thoughts without judgment. Meditate, breathe, yoga, and being present in grace. Okay. What else? Two more. I feel like they're going to be coming forward. So it's like you're going to be having like a decision. So that could have been what I was talking about earlier, battle of the sexes. Um, I feel like... Two people are going to be not necessarily fighting over you, but yeah, fighting over you. Or fighting for you. Okay, distrust the process. Okay. Just two want to come out. 
It says, trust the process. Everything always works out. Something better is on the horizon. Have total confidence in the universe. You have paradigm shift. It says, new experience is integrating now. Materialization, growth, expansion, progression, cycles, and change. So again, there's going to be a big shift in February. I mean, it's going to be powerful. And I feel it and I see it. And this is divinely um, orchestrated. Okay? So that's your messages for February Aquarius. I hope that this was very helpful for you. Um, and I am Jackson Knowledge Goddess. Please like and share and subscribe for me. Um, it will be very helpful. And I would love you even more for it. So thank you all for joining me. Have a wonderful February. I love y'all. Bye.